Okay, um, we are going to be doing some video tutorials on sculpting soon, but before we do that, we need to do go over stuffing. And it's really simple once you get the hang of it, but there are a few tricks to make it a lot easier. First, go around your seams, your finger, if you have a chopstick or something, and stretch them out like that. It works out any wrinkling or whatever that happens sometimes with the sewing machine. And go along the darts, just around the shape of the face so you can round it out a little bit more like that. And you grab your first handful. I usually have my first bit be pretty large. And just shove it on in there, but you don't stop there. You gotta put your hand, get your hand in there, and just start spreading it out. And you're gonna want to fill the seams along the seams first top to bottom so get to that top of the head and you might need to make a bigger opening if you don't have little teeny hands like I do but don't worry about being nice to it it's gotta be a little mean to get it to do what you want to do but Another thing I like to do is stretch the seams up over the stuffing, like kind of like you're putting on stockings. And just again, it helps round out that shape. And you want the outer edges filled before you fill the inside. Now the following handfuls are a little smaller. You just do as big or small as you like. Um, keep an eye on the shape as you're building it, and it might take a few tries to get, but once you do, this is, makes such a perfect, beautiful round shape that, and then you get it really easy. It's all just a matter of your hands remembering what to do, so... Here we go. See how the cheeks are. Oh, it's a little too close. Ah, uh, the cheeks are really filling out. See, nice shape. Now we want to get that chin filled up a little bit more. And see how just trying to round out. It's not going to be super, super firm. It's kind of like spread squishy, I guess. But if you spread the filling out, you can get a nice even shape without it being rock hard. And just now you just start getting smaller bits to fill in any little gaps you might have. And you'll be able to feel them as you're kind of squishing the head. This is the back of the head and the front. And I like to, I already have an idea that I want the eye line to be right about here. And so while I'm stuffing, I kind of remember that. So I'll put a little bit more around the cheeks. Don't worry, after we do some sculpting, we'll be adding a little bit more. So that's not, you don't want to worry about that too much right now. Make sure you get those. And, okay. Now the head's not completely filled yet. We're gonna we're gonna stop here and you see one of the other things I like to do and it's a little separate, but take the head, wring the neck, and twist it around a little bit. It kinda keeps everything up in this very specific head space. And now we'll get it ready for sculpting. 